Now, of course, there are dozens of plugins and we cannot cover them all, but I want to just focus on the most important ones and just give you the general feeling and understanding of how those plugins work and how we can use them in a good way. One last plugin that I find very helpful is also the plugin to interact with videos. For example, I want to learn something specific about artificial intelligence from a video. And I want to now interact with this video. I can do this using the plugin Video Insight. So I'm going to the plugin store and I'm just searching for video. And in here I see Video Insights. I see I can, using this plugin, interact with online video platforms. So let's just quickly go ahead and install this plugin. After I have installed this, I can now just go ahead, copy this link and just paste it in here. And then this will automatically trigger this plugin. And I can say now, yes, I would like to have a summary. And then this plugin will be triggered and the video will be analyzed. And then I get this information about this video, which is really great. And of course, now I can also ask follow-up questions to make it more tailored to what I am interested in. Maybe I don't want to know everything in this video, but I want to have one specific piece of information. For example, I can ask, what can I learn from this video regarding the impact of AI on jobs? And now I get a more in-depth answer about the effects on jobs. So for example, I can see replacement of repetitive jobs, creation also of new job opportunities, potential to perform complex tasks. So this is now much more tailored to what actually I was interested in. So in my opinion, this is a pretty useful plugin that now expands the functionality of JetGPT also to videos. And in my opinion, this is for example useful when we want to learn something, when we want to find some information. So this is it about using the plugins. And of course, remember, we can use up to three plugins combined. So we can, for example, use the plugin, let's say Wolfram Alpha, and then also Video Insights and combine them. So like this, we can bring all of that power together. And we've seen a few examples of these plugins and also how we can combine them. So I encourage you to play around with these plugins, find some plugins that are useful to you, and we have covered the, in my opinion, most useful plugins as well. Be aware that some of the plugins might require you to set up two-factor authentication. So I hope this section was helpful and see you in the next section.